Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a plank of wood, and I have the next 24 hours to turn this into a cricket bat. So let's get going. Now, there are already a few flaws in this plan. Firstly, I have never made a cricket bat before. And secondly, probably most importantly, this isn't even the right wood. Cricket bats like this one are made of willow, which is the traditional wood used to make cricket bats. But this, this is pine. So I think it's gonna be quite interesting to see how this comes out. Will it even work? I don't know, I hope so, because I need a video. <laughs> How do I even go about this? See, the problem past me had just discovered is that normally when you make a cricket bat, you make the bat and the handle and then you connect them later. However, that was not going to be easy to do. So instead, I decided I'm going to have to make it all in one, which will for sure have its own problems, but I suppose let's just get to it. So I've just finished the first cut and I made it a little bit wider here because that's how bats normally are. And then I've come right along and finished with a nice curve. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll get back to you guys with an update. Let's get going. See, I've done this side now and it was all fine, all fine, all fine. And then I was just a complete idiot and made this so much more like don't even know how to describe it but that's just not even so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this one a little bit more like this one and hopefully even things up and after that correction the bat already looks a little bit more symmetrical obviously there'll be sanding to go uh to make this circular so the next step is to sort of plane it down make this a circle and start to make the bat profile which you see along here but before then let's check the ping on this bad boy Honestly, not bad at all. Since we've already pinched his entire audio library, it's probably time for another Mark Grover style build montage. And there we are. So I've done the other side and I went for a little bit of an oval look just cause that was easier to do. Uh, but it's definitely feeling a lot more nice in the hands now. The next step in this process is to actually get I would genuinely be here forever just using this thing. I am gonna try something else. Okay, so I've called in some assistance and we're gonna use a bit more of a high power tool. Right, so we're about five hours into this. I've had some breaks um, and I don't really know why there's a time frame on this in the first place, but there is. We're about five hours in now uh, and this is the progress that's been made. It's looking like a proper bat from there. Yeah, I still need to sand it down. It's a bit rough and then I need to apply some string to it and then a grip. One thing I've missed in this list is that I need to sticker the bat up. Now, here's a funny story about the stickers, which isn't actually so funny. I ended up having to spend 20 something pounds on this because instead of just being able to buy two, maybe three stickers, which is all I need, I had to buy 72. 72 stickers of literally my face. It's the stuff of nightmares. Anyways, I'm gonna get sanding this down uh, and I'll show you the progress once we're there. Safety first, kids. So we've gone from a very rough handle to a very smooth handle here. It is feeling lovely at the moment. I cannot wait to try this out in a little bit. But first, let's get to finishing it. Right, so as this is a 24 hour challenge, I will have time to finish it tomorrow. Past me definitely had too much faith in future me. So it's been about four days since I recorded that last clip and I'm only just starting to finish this bat. So it's safe to say the 24 hour challenge is definitely off but I'm here now and I'm with the bat and I'm here to grip it up, sticker it up and get to the nets to test it out. So let's get going. Grip in three, two, one. And that took a while, but we are here now and we're ready to just roll this thing up to the top. And there we are. And now you can probably tell by the amount of light that was present when I started doing this and the amount of light that we got now, it's been a while, but it is finally done and it's time to move on to the last process, which is using the stickers. Yes, if you remember the stickers I mentioned earlier, 
Here they are. Let's get unboxing them. Yeah, they look they look good. To be fair, pretty high quality stuff. Uh, and they're pretty much the perfect size to just go onto the bat. Right, and we are nearly done with this, and it's looking it's looking pretty nice. So whilst we're at it, just do what it says on the sticker. Subscribe to Oscar Hud. Thank you. And with that being said, let's get this thing finished. Now, after all these hours of work, it's time for the fun part. Let's test it. Right, so here is the bat. It's looking lovely today. And what we're gonna be doing is first, we're gonna have a general net with it, and then we're gonna head out there and we're gonna do some range hitting and compare it to my other bat. My odds are on the other bat, but still, this could surprise us. So let's get to it. Do you see what I've accidentally done, which is quite clever? I've color matched what I'm wearing with the bat stickers. Nice. Let's see how it goes. First ball with the bat. <laughs> If it breaks first ball, I'm going to be so sad. Well, it's not going to break first ball. That's good. No run. It's all right. That pinged a little bit. Oh, Jesus Christ. That has come off so nice. So it was at this point where I started thinking to myself, is this bat actually illegal? And I looked up the regulations and yes, the material used is legal. But the only slight thing is shape. Is the shape legal? So I brought one of these, let's have a look. This is a batting gauge and it conforms to the MCC Law 5, which I suppose is like the bat size thing. Will it fit through? Here we go. No problems whatsoever. So this bat is fully legal. With that in mind, enjoy the rest of the footage. Waiting. Why is this, why is this actually good? This isn't made of the right wood. Why is it, why is it so good? Oh, that's well placed. Right, that one didn't sound too good. It's a little bit shorter than I'm used to. It'll be interesting to see how far that last one goes when we do the range hang. Yeah, all right. Yes, that was first try as well. We've always got to get a ramp in there. All right. All right, last one, then we're going to do some range hitting. Here we go. That'll do. Right, not bad, not bad at all. I would say a solid eight out of 10 here. Really impressed. Before we get to some range hitting, do what it says on the sticker. Good job. Let's collect these balls. Right then, balls have been collected and we're just going to head out to the middle and start hitting some big ones. Uh, I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere around here uh, and it's not gonna be very scientific because we haven't brought a measuring tape, but we'll just try and work out which ones have gone further. We've got four red and four yellow and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so I've got the GoPro set up out there and I'm gonna start off with the neon and we're gonna see how far we can hit a few of these. Oh, that is not, that is not the best. No, again, not enough. Not enough elevation. All right, this one's going higher. Oh, okay. That was a poor fit, but I put that's, that away. So that's over, that's over the other side of the square. That's oh, big. that's big. It's over the camera. Let's see how this one compares. Oh, oh yeah. caught. Caught. Yeah. Caught in the deep. Still. Nice amount of pinkish. Oh, yes. That's, <laughs> That's not as big as the neon. Oh, it's close. They're both just exceptional. Oh, it's flat. But still, flat. Okay, last one. Oh, no. Uh, oof, no. I not, towed it. Not a six. About two of them went for six with the neon. Probably about one went for six with this. So the neon still wins. But to be honest, to have made something in my garden out of pine wood that can still hit as far as this did is pretty cool. Right, I'll see you guys back at the house for a conclusion. In conclusion, this project has just been a massive success. So much so that if you guys can get this video to 1,000 likes, I'm prepared to bat in a real match with this bat and make one of my GoPro batting videos on it. It's safe to say this hasn't been the most scientific approach to comparing the two bats, um, but that bat really is 
better than I expected. To be honest with you, I did not expect this bat to hold up. I was expecting it to end up like this bat from my testing the world's cheapest cricket bat video, which is linked right there. Go watch that. I mean, if you want, of course. Uh, I'm not forcing you, but it is there. Also, do you like what I did with the, uh, with the stickers? I still have too many of them. Um, so if you have any ideas on what I should do with them, leave it in the comments. Thank you, Frick. Me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can.